there is just something in the nature of women that calls us to gather and share our experiences. I'm very proud to be a part of the new wave and new trend of women gatherings. Times are definitely changing. The era of Tupperware and makeup parties is being replaced with something far more meaningful. I am so encouraged to see that these days women are gathering to share their cooking and gardening experiences as Sherry Dixon does. Read with your mind. I know, it's right. We do. It's a very visual and mindful thing when you eat. It should be. Oh, it should be. I eat with my nose too. Wow. Child, and it takes us back to childhood. We were all cheering up. Yeah. 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 Alright, what this can do to you. To the garden. Oh, Charlotte's here. Oh, good. Oh. With everyone finally here and bread out of the oven, we were off to a garden. Our hostess, Sherry Dixon was very excited to take us for a walk in her beautiful grove. It was most rewarding for me to be in a company of people who understand the importance of staying close to nature and eating healthy. There are beautiful gifts for you and come oh, smell. Eat here beautiful. please, each take one. Thank you so much. And this I is a natural, natural ant oh and gosh. pest control. Sherry was great. Not just that she shared what she was growing, but she also taught us how to preserve it. You haven't tried cooking it with anything other than beef. It really does add a wonderful flavor to chicken Many. stock. Yes. I'm doing without no okay. chicken stock. Without okay. For you, okay. my friend. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Any, anyone else? Yes, I will take more? another one. Thing. Gifts like this do you make me happy. I'm not sure if you like the, ta the taste. These, um, these are, this is the way to go. After sharing her beautiful orchard and its fruit with us, we were off to see Sherry's amazing garden. It's a place unlike any other. Catherine is almost done, but for people like myself, it's simply magical. Happy place. We've got to wash a lot away, which would be wonderful when we can afford to we'll go ahead and box each row. Sherry knows a lot about gardening, and we were really lucky that she was willing to share some of that knowledge with Rotate us. Crops. So, okay. but yes, if you have a smaller space and want, you can actually propagate them year after year okay. because they are in that bowl. Well, I grow family. some things in different pots and stuff, and you know, and I can move it around, but I don't rotate so much. Although every now and again, we do like some nitrogen fixing with some beans and stuff. I have a cucumber plant, and so as we walk around, you'll see that. And the other thing, what's the reason for that? The nitrogen yeah. naturally are conducive for each other. Okay. And then when we get over to the other side, I'm trying something new over there between my sweet peas, I have carrots. Oh. So they're supposed to marry well. And between um, the, the tomato rows, I just know tomatoes shortly. So if any of you, I think Wanda is going to bring some containers. Yeah. This is where we'll harvest these little babies. Thank you. All right, so please feel free to walk around, ask oh, questions. Is this cabbage right here? That is cabbage, and that's. I'll so show cool. you the one that we're in our salad today. Oh, we this was a lots of fun. But what you want to look for is where there is a sprout. So you would take this trimming. So here again, here is the here is the top, and the part we want to use this is right great. here. And if we cut right there, now you have double the plant growing out. Oh, okay. Right. Now, if which could be problematic if you don't hurry up and thin these. Yeah. <laughs> Lettuce here, right? That's a bit of lettuce that will be in our salad Bib today, lettuce. and some spinach in our oh, salad what? today. Where's, where's the spinach? Uh, I'm a big supporter of such a gatherings, 
and I would love to encourage you and your family and friends to do the same. I believe the seeds of change start in small gardens and around gatherings like this one. I wish to see us all grow strong and healthy and I wish to see that we embrace each other and share our knowledge in support and encouragement online. And towards they do. better tomorrow. Check it out, look Jack. It's never too late to change things for better. I might be a little bit old-fashioned, but it gives me a great joy to see a group of women gathering together in such a supportive and encouraging way. In times when everything we learn comes from internet, it's kind of nice to have experience where you can touch, smell, feel, and see things that you're trying to learn about. Every one of us has a gift to give, and it would be wonderful if everyone would unselfishly share fruits of their labor and life with others. So bring your best forward and share the fruits of your labor with others. Her life, as well as everything that she produces on her property, is a testament of excellence in every way. From homemade preserves to specially infused vinaigrettes to an exceptional extra virgin olive oil, everything that Sherry produces comes with a great pride and a big sharing heart.